So in this problem, we're told Tarzan plans to cross a gorge by swinging in an arc from a hanging vine. If his arms are capable of exerting a force of 1,350 newtons on the rope, what is the maximum speed he can tolerate at the lowest point of his swing? His mass is 78 kilograms and the vine is 5.2 meters long. So uh, what we have here is Tarzan's going to be swinging and we know he's going to be swinging in an arc. So we can kind of imagine it uh, like a circle around this point that he's going to be swinging. Obviously he will get off, but if you imagine it kind of something like this, He's going to be going in an arc like this, or a circle. And so we're given a couple of things here. Let's write that down. So we are given uh, the force he's going to be exerting. So we can just call this F, uh, and this is going to be equal to 1,350 newtons. Uh, we're also given his mass, which is 78 kg. And we are also given uh, the length of the vine. So. Uh, I'm just going to call this value L, so L equals 5.2 meters. So the first thing you need to recognize is they're giving you the hint to solve this problem. So the hint is basically that we're going to be moving in a circle like this. And so we know we're going to be dealing with uh, the things that come with movement in a circle. And so what we're trying to solve for is the velocity. And so if I think of formulas that relate uh, velocity in, of, of like when you're traveling in a circle, I can relate it to the centripetal acceleration. So I know uh, the centripetal acceleration, so is acceleration going around the circle, is equal to v squared divided by the radius. So I'm thinking if I can find his acceleration, right, his centripetal acceleration, I can go ahead and solve for the velocity. So how do I get the acceleration or the centripetal acceleration? So Generally, the way you get acceleration in any problem is you're going to do a free body diagram and do the sum of the forces. So I know I'm going to be summing the forces to get this centripetal acceleration, which in turn is going to allow me to actually solve for the velocity. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do his, or I'm going to sum the forces at the bottom of the arc. So basically the lowest point, which you can imagine is just like right here. So imagine this is him. And what we want to do is draw the forces acting on him here. So uh, we know the sum of the forces, and I'm going to call this the y direction. So sum of the forces in the y are going to be equal to mac. So it's mass times centripetal acceleration because he's moving in a circle. That's why uh, we're using that. Uh, and then we want to sum up the forces. But let's draw them first. So uh, we know there's going to be the force of gravity, which acts straight down on him. Right, and that's why we're doing it at the lowest point because it's just easier to do. Uh, but essentially, gravity is going to be acting down on him, and then the force that's holding him up, we know is going to be uh, the force F, right? His grip. So when they tell us uh, his arms are capable of exerting a force of 1,350 newtons, uh, that's what they're talking about here. So basically, uh, the force he's going to be holding up or pulling up with is 1,350 newtons, and we're solving for the velocity uh, when that's the case because they want us to find uh, the maximum speed when he exerts his maximum force. Because the greater this force is here, the faster he can travel. So uh, what we're going to want to find is uh, when this is that value. So uh, summing, um, summing uh, the forces, and when it goes inside the circle, you label it positive. So we have F, and then mg is going out, so minus mg. So we want the centripetal acceleration, A sub C. So if we divide by m, you get it equals f over m minus, and then this is just going to cancel right here because you're dividing m by m. And so we can find this centripetal acceleration when his force that he exerts is maximum, right? Because when this value is greater, uh, it's going to result in a uh, greater centripetal acceleration, which great, uh, is a greater velocity. So. Uh, what we want to do is just plug in the values now for all we got to really do is just solve. So uh, we have 1,350 newtons, and then you're dividing by his mass, which was uh, about 78 kilograms. So divided by 78, uh, you should know G by now is the acceleration due to gravity. It's just a constant. So just a matter of plugging that in. Let me zoom out a bit. Uh, and then, yeah, so let me plug this in my calculator now. So 1,350. Uh, and then you're dividing by 78, 
and then you're minus 9.8. So you will get 7.5, uh, five zero seven or eight. So I'm just going to round to 7.51. And then we're talking about acceleration here. So uh, this is the units of meters per second squared. And cool. So now we have that. Uh, what we can do now is plug it in, as I said before. Uh, but notice we're solving for velocity here. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by R. So we have R times A sub C equals V squared. To get rid of the square, all you have to do is square root. So square rooting both sides, I get my velocity equals the square root of R times A sub C. And so we know the centripetal acceleration. We just went ahead and solved for that. But now we need the radius. And so uh, this is where a uh, little trick in the problem. They give us the length of the cord. And if you notice how I drew it here, what is the length of the cord? It's essentially the radius. Because you can imagine as he's rotating around this point, so this distance right here is the radius, since this is the center of the circle. So L is really equal to R. So uh, basically, the radius in this case is 5.2 meters. So uh, now what we want to do is I'm just going to plug it in. So we're doing the square root, 5.2, multiplying it by the centripetal acceleration, which we just found, 7.51. Let me draw this out a bit. And then now what we want to do is just plug this in. So uh, we have the square root of 5.2, multiplying that by 7.51. You're going to get 6.249, which is about, or which is just 6.25. Keep in mind, this is going to be the velocity. So V equals 6.25 uh, meters per second. And so... Yeah, so 6.25 uh, meters per second. That's going to be your velocity. Keep in mind, I did use uh, this value here. So I rounded a bit. So uh, just keep in mind that I use that value. You might get a little different answer if you use one that was not rounded, but I used the rounded value. Um, but yeah, so just a uh, quick recap of what we did is we noticed that they tell us it goes in an arc. So we know we're going in a circle. I know I'm solving for velocity, so I'm probably going to need the acceleration. How do I get the acceleration? I just sum the forces. And so we just summed it at the bottom here. Uh, and that allowed us to solve for the centripetal acceleration. And then with that, uh, just plugging into this basic formula uh, in order to solve. So really just a kind of basic problem with circular motion here and then just plugging it in. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the maximum velocity that he can tolerate at the lowest point of his swing. So at this point here, which is why we summed it there. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.